my new little sound logo thing I'm doing at the beginning of each of these videos in this series, which is my quick tips series. I'm Jared from soundguitarlessons.com. In this video, I want to talk about something that uh, gets debated a little bit, which is which kind of scale system should we use on the guitar? Should we use the cage system scales or should we use three notes per string? And if you ever see someone say number three NPS, they're abbreviating three notes per string. And I get this, I get asked this all the time. Should I work on three notes per string? Should I do this exercise in three notes per string? Um, and I have an answer that I feel strongly about because I wondered the same thing at one point and I went all in on three notes per string scale system. If you play three notes per string, you get seven scale shapes, scale forms, scale patterns, they're all called that. Um, you get seven of them. If you do the ergonomic scale forms, I call them the ergonomic scale forms. They're the same thing as the cage system scale forms. If you play those, you get five shapes. And those are the ones that I teach now. And those are the ones that I um, recommend and use mostly for myself. Um, so many, many years ago, I went full force on three notes per string thinking this is not the way to go this gets more reach this gets more span within a scale shape um, and I just played everything that way I did all my improvising mapped out all my chord tone arpeggios which is a big thing that I do for improvising over chord changes and I teach about that a lot on my channel and so I just went really um, heavy on that to get everything down what it did though over time was that it caused too much strain on my arm and this relates to my video that was the last video in this series so check that out with the link in the description if you want to there's a link to the all the videos in this quick tips lesson series um i caused too much strain on my arm from that which i didn't talk about in that video but the principle i talked about which is that we don't want to be stretching and reaching for notes instead we want to be shifting two notes and when you play the three notes per string system People will spend hours and hours working on their scales where they're doing this kind of reach and stretch, which brings the wrist out and causes more just tension, just constant tension happening. Um, if we're able to do that lightly and shift and not holding these reaches and stretches, that could be okay. Um, but most of us aren't. And the scales themselves are pretty okay. But like, check that out. See how my wrist is? That's a lot. And I'll still use that sometimes where it really falls apart and where it fell apart for me was when I mapped out all my chord tone arpeggios within those scale systems. And I was trying to use those and doing a lot of reaching and stretching. Um, and just that tension adds up when you're trying to practice a lot and trying to get better and trying to play a lot of music and trying to play gigs or whatever it is, it adds up when you're doing that. Um, so I, because I injured my arm and you watch the previous video, if you want to learn about that, because I injured my arm, I had to say, what's the what's the easy what's the path of least resistance here that's going to be all about longevity because i just i want to play for the rest of my life so i want to make this easier on myself now for many more reasons than that i am in love with the cage system scale forms i don't think of them as cage system like that's why i call them the ergonomic scale forms they're super ergonomic and fluid um, and there's five shapes of them for the major scale five for the minor scale etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and those are what i focus on so my answer in the end is that i think those are the scales to master to have everything down, be able to really fluently think that way, and then definitely explore the three notes per string for the sake of getting familiar with them, mapping that out a little bit, and they can be helpful for switching between positions of what we can think of as the more ergonomic scale form. So I'll put links in the description to my scales videos and um, this whole series, and you can learn about some of the things I referenced there. Um, if you want to get the chord tone arpeggios that are from the ergonomic scale forms, you can grab my PDF that's uh, chord tone arpeggio pack, totally free. There's a link in the top of the description for that. It's a really cool resource if you're interested in figuring out, mapping out, using your chord tones and arpeggios um, with a bunch of different chords all over the guitar for improvising. Uh, one more video in this series, and I'll be looking forward to bringing you that next week. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.